Ladies and gentlemen, and it feels like quite a while since I've said this, welcome back to the Liverpool career where there's a couple of things to clear up and there's a couple of things to go through. It's been quite a while. It seems like it's been quite a while on the channel where we've actually been doing daily career mode. When we started the Celtic career, daily. We had it out mostly every day anyway. And we're doing very well with the Liverpool career. It's been on and off and things have been in a horrible cycle of things. In the last episode, um, we took on Tottenham. We played a cup game. We took on Leicester. And we played Arsenal as well. Um, that, none of that saved. None of it saved. Uh, so that's one thing I need to clear up today and we're going to have to go and sim through and just get other results. So if things don't line up with how they did in the last video, I'm sorry. I can't really do anything about it. But I'm not going through and playing those games again. So we'll take what we get, even if it's worse than the last time. So anyway, another thing to clear up is the fact there's no webcam today. And when we're in games, there'll be no live commentary, mainly for the fact I've not got a lot of time in my hands. And you'll notice that over the next month or two. It is really getting in the grind of things for me. I'm six, six or seven weeks away from my exams. So things are going to get a bit difficult. And that is why these are going to be quick fire episodes. Episodes with not a lot of editing and such. And they just need to get out. And I want to continue my good upload schedule. I've got going just now my grind that I'm going through. I mean it's, it feels like I'm going through a, a new phase of me with the way I'm up on videos. If, you, if you've been around my channel for long enough. You'll know I couldn't stick to one video a month. Um, when I had about 300 subs. But um. Now I want to just thank you all for 3k, but we're going to get back into this episode, so if we go through our sim results from just there a moment ago, Tottenham, we drew 1-0, not a bad result, the Cup, we are through, we beat Stoke 3-1, we've beat Leicester 2-0, we have beaten, uh, no we drew with Arsenal 1-0, so not bad results, and we drew here in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup with Crystal Palace, which means a replay will have to be played, but today's episode then, we're going to take on Man City away from home, we will sim this match against Burnley, and there is a big Merseyside derby, the second of the series, and this time it's at Anfield, hoping for a good result, so it should be a decent episode, sorry that once again it's not live, there's no webcam, but as I said, there's not much I could do. So we're going to quickly sim through these emails here. Some prize money has been given. Australia have offered us a job. Once again, I'm feeling offended from these job offers. I'm the manager of Liverpool and I'm getting offered horrible jobs like that. Uh, prize money, not very good. Squad report thing, don't care. Uh, Moreno was out for two months. Thank God it's Moreno. I couldn't care less if he was paralysed. But um, yeah, we've got a couple of big games in today's episode. Man City and Everton, not an easy episode. And we're going to get right into the swing of things. We're going to get into the first game against Manchester City. We were hoping to improve our league form. If we look of where those last few games has, have left us in the league table, we are sitting second and we are falling slowly and slowly. We are falling further behind Manchester United. There was a point in this series where we were flying away with the league title. Now, we are on some sort of journey to try and get back to that top spot, which has to happen today, we need those big wins, and hopefully Man United drop points, without any further ado then, as I always say, further ado, um, we're going to get into this first game, against Manchester City, which will be difficult, we're at the Etihad, but I have faith, come on, we'll go and get the three points, let's get back to the title, so here it is, the Etihad Stadium, the first game of the episode, visiting the Etihad, never an easy game, in fact, always quite a difficult game in, in FIFA. And I don't really particularly like going there, but I have confidence and we need to start turning these poor runs of form around, especially against the big teams and especially away from home. So adding all that together, not the most confident going into this game. But we started off in the front foot here as we see you booming forward. Marco Royce had a lot more time. Should have done a lot more with the time he had. Instead, we put the ball over the bar, wasting a golden opportunity as City go forward here. And as you see, in the sixth minute, we give away a penalty. Not very good of us to give away a penalty early. Aguero with the massive run up. Puts it well over a wide, whatever you want to say, just towards the top corner on the run up. Very over the top and didn't help him whatsoever. The City then kept pushing forward. They had a chance to Bruyne with the rebound. And it goes skyrocketing over the bar again. And at this point, City just cannot have a ball on target. Pass slack tries pathetically from range. Griezmann wins the ball back. Look at this from Goretzka. Wonderful get by Sani. Then the shot hits the post. That's the post again. And goes back in the back of the net. A fantastic strike from Goretzka. And a lovely bit of skill to get around Leroy Sané, as you see in a minute. But a fantastic shot. One of the better goals we have scored all season, definitely. A fantastic strike of the ball from the German midfielder. <coughs> if we wait for the replay to come back up again. Sorry, I'm clearing my throat here. But here we go. Look at this. Griezmann does well win the ball back. Look at this. Brilliant to take it around Sané. Filling him. And then a beautiful curve shot, which hits one post. Think it's not going to go anywhere, but it hits the other post and goes in the back of the net. A better angle here. Caballero. Absolutely 
no chance. So that was a lovely way to give us the lead indeed. And in the first half, things just kept getting better. Goretzka now seeking a great ball over for Manny to latch on the end of with a fantastic shot. It goes to the bottom corner and just following his goal, he gets an assist and we're up 2-0 very, very comfortably. Very comfortably indeed here at the he had a lovely bit of play from Manny finding the space and then a beautiful shot which never in a million years is Caballero going to reach to. And we're up 2-0 going into the start of the second half. City though, starting the half very well and straight away cutting the open and, and finding the back of the net. Very early on in the half as well, so that wasn't very helpful. And like that, City found himself back in the game very early in the half, which wasn't the best of confidence boosters. They went forward again here, and as you'll see, Ayaturi has the ball, and he finds uh, Aguero with an embarrassing attempt on goal, and that goes well. I just thought I'd show that to embarrass Aguero. Uh, and uh, Kalecic here, Nacho here, tears a good little pass through, uh, and De Bruyne and here, Nacho tears us apart there. And from 2 0 up, um, at this point, we've thrown it all away. With 20 minutes to go, it's 2 0, and to be honest, wouldn't be surprised to go and see City win at this point, but straight after kickoff, wonderful football. Look at this, the passing is beautiful, and Bernardo Silva's there. Can he put it in the back of the net? He does. He puts it in the back of the net, and we are up 3 2 after just conceding. Genuinely, that was straight from kickoff, booming forward, and we got a goal back straight away. And to be honest, to be honest, that I thought it was a pretty good goal. So um, clap for me in the comments, but a fantastic finish from the creator, the man himself, Bernardo Silva, as we headed into the very end of the game, it looked as it was in our hands, it was in our hands, as we collected the win, a massive result, and we're back in the title race. A massive victory there, a 3-2 win against Man City, I'm not going to complain, I'm very happy with the performance, especially for the fact we're up 2-0, uh, and then went to 2-0, and then we managed to still win the game, it showed the fight within the team. And it was pretty good, a pretty good result altogether, which leaves us in quite a comfortable position to still go and challenge Manchester United for the league title. So now, if we go over and look at the league table, uh, there it is. United still have a game in hand, hopefully they lose it, and we'll see how that goes there. But we've got a while to wait now, international break I believe, but there it is. The first match back will be against Burnley, we're going to sim it. And surely to Christ we'll get a good result. Man United still haven't played their game in hand. Hopefully that's happening over this weekend. They are just simmed. We'll check again. And hopefully they have. Right, they're still five points clear. This is a, this is a must win. We're going to sim this now. If we were to drop points here against Burnley, it will be costly. It could be the biggest mishap of our season if we drop points here against Burnley. We'll move down, it's quite a slow start, but there we go, Marco Royce gives us a lead, and usually when we take the lead, I feel comfortable. Okay, 1-0, Sam Vokes has scored, gone into half-time, 2-1, Joe Matip, uh, right before half-time, that is brilliant, what a result for him. 3-1, there we go, Goretzka, that should be it, uh, Matt, that, that, there we go, 4-1 if you didn't need any more confirmation. Uh, well, there it is anyway, 4-1 is the score against Burnley. And we are still breathing down the neck of Manchester United. Can we bring a league title finally back to Liverpool? There's one team who's going to have a say in that, and that is the team we're about to take on. We're about to play Everton a game, once again, we must win. There's a five-point gap between me and United. This is the 30th game of the season. After this, there's only eight games left to, to try and get to that league title. We need to win this. If we lose, I think the league title's gone. Can we do it? We need to do it. Let's get into this game. We all love a Merseyside derby. It's the second of the series heading into this game at Anfield. We obviously took them on at Goodison Park earlier in the season, where I believe it ended in defeat. If my mind serves me correctly, I'm sure it was defeat. I may be wrong, though. But we had to go into this game to get a big result as United. As you can see at the top left corner, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, sorry, further and further away from us. With a chance very early on, and Goretzka just couldn't bring it down well enough. And it went right to the hands of the keeper. That was a good first chance as we swung a ball in. Manny wins a header very rarely. And when he does there, a lot of power in it. And it could have been a good goal, but a good catch from the keeper. But there was a great chance. Griezmann with a lovely turn taking the shot, but he just drags it along the ground easy for the keeper to save. So then, Bernardo Silva cutting out a beautiful run. A great ball directly to the head of Antoine Griezmann. And he gives us the lead in the Merseyside derby. Got to give all the credit to Bernardo Silva, what a run, what a carved out run to set up that goal, and it's a beautiful cross as well, everything about the play, look at it, you couldn't direct it any better to the head of Antoine Griezmann, and it ends his goal drought, I was genuinely thinking of dropping him, but he got that goal, it was very important, right before half time, and a Valencia for the equaliser, smacks the post, could have been very different there, 
uh, if it was maybe Lukaku up front, but uh, here we had a chance to start the second half and a great save from the Everton keeper, whoever it is at this point. Uh, and then we'll brandish the red card. Yep, we're just going to kind of go over that quickly. Yep, we, we went down to 10 men, which made life incredibly difficult. As you'll see here, Ross Barkley taking a shot, Gary shooting, and I was really feeling the effects of only having 10 men. As you see, a lovely ball over there, but Matip doesn't do well to clear. Uh, and then, yeah, Valencia slips over to Miravas, and, and it's 1-0. It's 1-0 at this point. And I'm definitely, as I said, feeling the effects of only having 10 men on the park as Everton equalise the game. And with the way we were playing up until this point, I was confident Everton were going to beat us, to be honest. Really confident. But we go forward here, and Aldo, a chance for us. Bernardo Silva, not enough power or direction in it to put it away from the keeper. And it gets an easy save. We go forward and come towards the end of the game here. We're starting to get momentum back on our side. Ronaldo gives it to Manny. Manny to Bernardo Silva again. And it's blocked. And luckily I reckon it would have went in. The 90th minute. This was the chance. Manny. What he done against City. Can't do it again. An open goal for Rupert in the back. And then he missed it. He missed it. They put it wide. Bernardo Silva. Open goal. 90th minute misses. And that. That my friends. Summed up the whole game. Uh, that. Look at that. Open goal. Blasts it wide. In the 90th minute. And we drop more points. Once again we draw, and it seems to be becoming a recurring theme that we draw in this save, uh, in this career mode. And I don't like that theme. Things are getting difficult. So not the most successful of Merseyside derbies, and it leaves us sitting at four points behind Manchester United, I believe. Yep, they still have that game in hand. The gap can be extended at the top. So we're going to sim this Bournemouth game to end off the episode. Mark Royce's injury, by the way, not too bad. Only nine days. It does mean he will miss this game. Uh, and people are tired. But do you know what? I couldn't care. Let's end off the episode, hopefully, with a win. We need a win. Uh, Passlack is also suspended. We cannot let Man United get any further away because in the next one or the next two or three episodes, it is going to be a scrap to get to that league title. I'm guessing there'll only be two episodes left. We need to hope for United to slip up and we need to actually get results as we're going to have time. No, no, if Bournemouth for him is, puts us in the league, the unlikely of scorers, the centre-back puts us in the lead. Now we just need to hold on or please get another one. The one now isn't very convincing, but it might just do us as we go over the line with it and we do one no. Very, very, very close right there to drop even more points, but it'll have to do. And how we'll end off the episode is with Man United four points clear with a game in hand, so potentially seven points clear. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you all for 3K once again. For me, Dan 18 I'll see you all next time.